On second down, Montgomery with a burst. Montgomery with a touchdown! What a move. And he put on Larry Brooks. He's going to be a big part of this drive, but they've got to show other players can make plays as well. They'll fake it to Spears. Pratt across the middle. Has a man in a first down. Shea Wyatt racing into Cincinnati territory. It's a gain of 33 yards. Pratt now over 100 yards passing to the end zone. Pass is caught. And the Green Waver back in front. It's Deuce Watts. My goodness. Under 100 yards when this drive started. And then all of a sudden, you ask Michael Pratt to go lead his team. He red hot on third and 11. Let's see. Wiley switches sides. Prater on the move. Incomplete and poked away at the last minute by D.J. Douglas. Well, it's just... Spears picked up two. Second down and eight. Pratt has been in the shotgun most of the afternoon. Spears. Oh my That's goodness. a first down and a lot more. Boy, the change of direction. He kept cutting inside. And the end result is 25 yards. He won't do it here. To the edge. And a couple of yards. That's it. Game tackled at the 41. Bearcats will utilize their final timeout. Everywhere. Dickinson Gators all over the place. <laughs> On the field and in the broadcast booth. Prater's going to be sacked. Back at the 15. Guess who? Big Keith Cooper again. He and Darius Hodges get home. Loss of five makes it third and 15. Bearcats got to go. Prater pressured again. He escapes. He's one deep. An incomplete. Wiley don't move. Fourth down and 15. It all comes down to this. Prater with time. Heaves a pass that is incomplete. It was dropped. Tyler Scott. Right in his bread basket. Right in the chest. Between the two and the one is thrown on time. If Scott catches that, it's a, it's a race. A foot race with a safety. What a throw. Looking the defenders off. Comes back right. And it's on the money. On the money. Experienced quarterback and one heck of a running back in Tajay Spears. Tulane on the road. Gets it done. 27 to 24, the final score from Cincinnati, Ohio. And one step closer to a New Year's Six Bowl appearance in the Cotton Bowl. Green Wave going back to the Crescent City. Feeling good about life and hosting next week's AAC Championship tilt.